If you are a student or a researcher, you must have heard about word plagiarism. Plagiarism is presenting someone else's work as your own. Plagiarism in any form is usually not acceptable. Some journals and academia allow a minimal degree of plagiarism as no plagiarism most of the times is not possible. Sometimes the authors and presenters are unaware that they have plagiarized but at other times they deliberately do it. If you are not aware about the consequences of plagiarism, I must tell you that it will severely damage your reputation. It is a crime that may lead to the manuscript retraction, expulsion from university, complete ban on your future publication and may invite legal action against you. Hello and welcome to Explore Bio. In today's video, I will cover some of the most common types of plagiarism, popular software to check them and how one can avoid plagiarism. I have covered some of the most common questions the students have about plagiarism. So watch this video till the end. This video will be particularly helpful for researchers and students writing a research article, review paper, research proposal, book chapter or their thesis. I have made a series of videos on related topics. You should definitely watch them. Their links are given in the description below. So let's get started with the types of plagiarism. The first type is a complete or global plagiarism. It is the most offensive type of plagiarism in which you copy paste the entire work of someone else without citing them or giving them the credit. This is usually done by the people who are too lazy to read, write and work hard and shows others work as their own. This is unethical and it is a complete no in the scientific community. To reduce your efforts in reading and writing manuscripts, you can watch my lecture on how to read research paper quickly and effectively. The second common type of plagiarism is partial or verbatim plagiarism in which you copy a part of someone else's work as it is without citing it. What most writers do is they make their own manuscript by copying various sections from several published papers. This is usually seen while writing a literature review or review article. Data and language of other published papers may be used but only if they are properly cited and self-written rather than just copying. For more information about how to write a review paper, you may check out my video. The third type is a paraphrasing plagiarism. This is done by the writers having some experience in writing manuscripts. What they do is rephrase the sentences copied from previously published papers and show them as their own. Authors and students sometimes do not understand that just changing the words does not make it novel unless the idea is novel. This practice is also unacceptable. You should always cite the original paper for this. The fourth type of plagiarism is self-plagiarism. What if you are writing a piece of work that is similar to what you have previously published? Or what if you want to include your published paper in your thesis? Now what happens is when your document or manuscript is checked for plagiarism, the software search for all existing online resources. And even if the software is reporting it to be your own previously published article, it will consider it plagiarized. For thesis, this practice should be permitted at least partially. What you may do is either remove it manually from plagiarism check but it is better to rewrite or rephrase it because academic institutions may not always listen to you and create a false label for you or else what you can do is ask them in advance. Better be safe. Now let's talk about most common doubts a student have about plagiarism. What documents needs to be checked for plagiarism? Every document, whether it is a research article, review paper, research proposal, book chapter, undergraduate or PhD thesis, abstract should be checked for plagiarism. The next common question I got from several students is what sections of the manuscript are included and checked for plagiarism. The answer is almost your entire manuscript. The title, abstract, introduction, literature review, results and discussion, conclusion, figures and tables, all needs to be included. Acknowledgements, abbreviations, keywords, footnotes, author contribution, affiliation, references are not considered as they show very high percentage of plagiarism which is obvious and not required at all. To how much extent the plagiarism is allowed? There is no specific answer to this. Usually 10 to 25 percent is allowed but it varies from university to university and journal to journal. You need to check the guidelines or ask them in advance before submitting the document. My manuscript is showing more than the permissible plagiarism. What to do? There are sections like abstract, introduction, review, results, discussion that should not have much plagiarism if you have written it by your own. 
If it is still there, rephrasing or citing the original work may be done. Material and methods encounter maximum degree of plagiarism as same techniques and methods are usually followed by many studies. You can minimize it by shortening the methods, citing it to the previously published papers or as described earlier. I checked the plagiarism with the software but the journal or the academia showed higher plagiarism percentage. Different software follow different algorithms to check plagiarism and hence the results vary. Better to know beforehand which software the organization is using and you use the same. Use some of the best and popular plagiarism software that I am going to mention in a moment. Using free online software should be avoided. Why? That I will tell in coming points. I have written the entire content by my own. Will there be any need to check for plagiarism? Even though you have written entire manuscript by your own, there would be a sequence of words that will show plagiarism if checked for. It is known as unintentional plagiarism if not cited properly. So it is better you should check every document that you are planning to publish. In what format document should be uploaded for plagiarism check? Various formats are acceptable such as Word, PowerPoint, Excel, PDF by most of the softwares. Can I check plagiarism with freely available softwares online? I do not recommend to upload and check plagiarism online with freely available software. You never know your data might get leaked or used by someone else. Also there are chances that the free online software does not detect plagiarism or detects low level of plagiarism but actually it has much higher degree of plagiarism. It has happened to one of my friends, hence it is better to use the licensed software available with your supervisor or the library of your institute. Which softwares are best for plagiarism checking? This is one of the most typical question. Internet is flooded with the answers if you google it. One will mention a particular software and the other will tell some other. Here I will suggest two software. One is research oriented for scholars and the other is for the students. But let me be clear that I am not promoting any of these nor suggesting superiority of one over another. But I am telling this because these are the two most commonly used software by institutions and the publishing groups. If your aim is research article or review or book article publication, my straightforward recommendation would be Crossref similarity check by Authenticate software. Why I am recommending Authenticate is because major publishing houses like Ville, Elsewhere and Springer use it for checking the plagiarism. The software checks the manuscript against a wide range of scholarly articles and web resources. It shows the results as similarity. If individual stretch of similarity is low between 1 to 5%, you need not to worry. If it is more than 10%, it needs your attention. Figures and paraphrased text are not compared by the software. If your aim is not research article publication but rather thesis by undergraduate or the graduate students in various universities across the globe, the choice would be Turnitin. Similar to the Authenticate, it is also a paid software. The algorithms for manuscript evaluation for plagiarism is different for both the software. The next question is how can I get access to these software? Yes, the softwares I recommended are paid ones and not every student may have a personal copy most universities and research institutes have the license for these softwares. You may inquire and ask the authorities and get it checked. So that's all for the today's video. If you like the video, do hit the like button and share with your friends. It might help them too. Mention in the comment if you have any relevant doubts. Watch my playlist on PhD related topics, techniques, markers and lot more. Subscribe and hit the bell icon if you don't want to miss my latest uploads. At last, thanks for watching.